You are listening to Standards in 10 Minutes from The Standard Show, the podcast that brings you the stories behind the standards with Matthew Childs and Cindy Parakil. Hello, my name is Matthew Childs. And I'm Cindy Parakil. And this Standard in 10 Minutes is the IC60079 series, Electrical Safety in Explosive Atmospheres. Here are 10 things you need to know. Number one, what the Standard Series is all about. The International Electrotechnical Commission 60079 series is a suite of standards that provides best practice guidelines for the design, manufacture, installation and maintenance of electrical equipment in explosive atmospheres. Number two, what are explosive atmospheres? An explosive atmosphere is a mixture of air and dangerous substances such as dust, vapors, gases or mists that can ignite and spread combustion to the entire unburned mixture. These explosive atmospheres can be found in industries such as mining, power production, chemicals and wood processing and in the manufacture, handling and storage of flammable liquids and gases. Number three. The role of the IEC. Founded in 1906, the International Electrotechnical Commission, or the IEC, is the world's leading organisation for the preparation and publication of international standards for all electrical, electronic and related technologies. These are collectively known as electrotechnology. The IEC brings together 170 countries and provides a global, neutral and independent standardisation platform for 30,000 experts globally. It publishes around 10,000 international standards, which, together with conformity assessment, provide the technical framework that allows governments to build national quality infrastructure and for organisations of all sizes to buy and sell consistently safe and reliable products around the world. Number four. Why the IEC 60079 series is important. A light switch may cause a small, harmless spark when switched on or off. In an ordinary household, this is of no concern. But if a flammable atmosphere is present, the arc might start an explosion. In many industrial, commercial and scientific settings, the presence of such an atmosphere is a common or at least commonly possible occurrence. Protecting against fire and explosion is of interest for both personal safety as well as reliability reasons. In coal mining, for example, there are risks that coal dust can explode as a direct result of the ignition of flammable gases, such as methane, by either blasting, drilling, the use of machinery, or through faulty equipment. The use of international standards can help ensure best practices are followed and so help to reduce these risks involved. Number five, who the standards are for. The IC60079 series of standards is relevant for all professionals working in explosive atmospheres, but specifically for those working with electrical equipment, such as electrical and mechanical engineers. Organisations who manufacture, test and certify electrical equipment for use in explosive atmospheres. And also testing houses, regulators and certification bodies. Number six, some key standards in the series. Key standards in the IEC 60079 series include IEC 60079-0, This standard provides general requirements for equipment used in explosive atmospheres. It establishes the fundamental principles and definitions that apply to all other standards in the series. IEC 60079-1 This standard covers equipment protection by flame-proof enclosures. Flame-proof enclosures are designed to contain and extinguish any internal sparks or arcs, preventing them from igniting an external explosive atmosphere. Then there is IEC 60079-17. This standard provides guidelines for the inspection and maintenance of electrical installations in hazardous areas. Regular inspections and maintenance are essential to ensure the continued safety and reliability of equipment. 
and IEC 60079-31. This standard focuses on the protection of equipment from dust ignition. Number 7. Benefits to people and organizations of using the standards. Using the IEC 60079 series of standards provides several benefits. Primary amongst these is the prevention of ignition. The purpose of the standards is to prevent electrical equipment from igniting explosive atmospheres. They set out how this can be achieved using various protective measures, such as flame-proof and pressurised enclosures. Using the standards also ensures the safety of personnel. By preventing explosions, the standards directly protect the lives of workers in hazardous environments. And they also ensure the protection of property. Adhering to these standards helps to minimise the risk of fires, explosions and subsequent property loss. The standards can also help organisations comply with regulations. Many countries have regulations that require compliance with the IC 60079 series. Failure to comply can result in fines, legal action and a damage to an organisation's reputation. Number 8. Harmonised Standards Many of the explosive atmosphere standards contained in the IEC 60079 series are harmonized to the ATEX and DSEAR. ATEX is a name commonly given to the two European directives for controlling explosive atmospheres. These are for the minimum requirements for improving the health and safety protection of workers potentially at risk from explosive atmospheres and the equipment and protective systems intended for use in potentially explosive atmospheres. In the UK, the requirements of these two European directives were put into effect through Regulations 7 and 11 of the DSEAR or Dangerous Substances and Explosive Atmospheres Regulations 2002. Number 9. Review and Revision like all international standards developed through the multi-stakeholder consensus model, the IC60079 series is subject to regular review and revision. International standards are reviewed to ensure they remain relevant and up-to-date, and to assess their performance and impact. The review intervals for IEC standards are set by the relevant technical committee, in line with stakeholder needs. Some technologies move fast, and others move much more slowly. During the review process, the maintenance team for the standard evaluates if it needs to be revised. In some cases, a standard needs to be withdrawn and a new one prepared. Number 10. The people involved in developing the standard. The IEC 60079 standard series is developed by IEC Technical Committee 31, created back in 1948. Members of the committee are drawn from a wide range of national standards bodies and other IEC members from around the world. The scope of Technical Committee 31 is to prepare and maintain international standards relating to equipment for use where there is a hazard due to the possible presence of explosive atmospheres of gases, vapors, mists or combustible dusts. So, there you have it. A standard in 10 minutes. The IEC 60079 series. Electrical safety in explosive atmospheres. You have been listening to Standards in 10 Minutes from The Standard Show. Subscribe to us now wherever you get your podcasts. You just heard a stripped media production. <laughs>